and live. Good morning, everyone. Oh. Morning, everybody. I'm Bridget from Chiffon Degree. And I'm Dana from Big Dad Consulting. And today we've got an interesting topic, but I'm going to let you say it about it. Yeah. So what we wanted to talk about today, because on, on Tuesday we do marketing and Friday we do personal development topics. So today what we are discussing is about online courses. And again, um, I've written this um, uh, online course about finding your purpose. And I, I'm really in the place of doing the research on if I'm going to do it, if I'm going to use an online platform, which one? There's Udemy, there is um, Teachables, there's so many. And this is where I felt getting an expert's opinion, a marketing expert's opinion on this would be really insightful because I thought I'm not the only one. Who else is doing online courses? What platforms are you using? And is it worth doing online courses? And this is, this is what we're talking about today. We are getting insight from the marketing experts. <laughs> So um, actually, you know, like we all listen to these online courses and now we're getting into more of a digital uh, kind of world. And the thing that we need to think about is not what platform we want to use first uh, for our online courses is actually do we need to have online courses? Because um, that's not for everyone and it's not that easy to prepare an online course. So for those of you watching us, so please share with us if you're selling online courses or are you maybe looking on selling online courses and in what topics. So I'll ask you, for example, why do you uh, sell online? You I, I know you're working on an online course. I know I'm selling free online courses. So what's the reason for you to do it? Well, how it actually started is I became an accredited facilitator. And then I decided during lockdown I wanted to become an accredited online course writer. So what that meant was I needed to write a course, if I'm going to be very honest. That's actually what happened. And because I'm very, very focused on personal development within myself, and part of that is finding your purpose, what is your reason why you're here, and those various questions. So I thought that's kind of like it ties in. Writing a course on finding your purpose, plus I needed to write a course to do the online. So I've become, I'm now an accredited online course writer. And which means that I've written this course. And I'm like, okay, great. I did it to become accredited, but now I've got the course. Well, be great to actually put it online. Now what? Where, where do I do this? So I know the other way is to first, you know, create the demand and then write the course. However, in my case, I did it that way because I need to get the accreditation. So this is where I need your help. Okay. So before that, like one of the main reasons for you to start having an online course is actually because you've got lots of information that you want to share, right? Mm. And you're trying to reach out to more people than just one-on-one, -on -one, right? Instead of doing all the time, like one-on-one -on -one workshops, one-on-one -on -one, like sessions, you want to reach out to more people, right? So you are trying to collect all the data information that you've got into one course so you can try to reach out to more and more people. And that's mm. one of the things, if you're watching us and you've got lots of information in your mind about like from your expertise and you just want to share and want to reach out to more people so that's one of the main reasons for you to start doing it and once you decide of this the one great way is actually to start checking if your online course is actually good or not if there is actually a demand for this is to do a webinar right host a webinar the webinar will be like a tiny summary of the online course then you present it to people for free, right? And then in the end, you're gonna tell them like, I'm gonna be launching my new online course with more information about everything you just heard now. Uh, it's gonna be available upcoming soon, the upcoming, let's say two weeks, months or something like this. And then you can see how people are reacting to this. If people mm -hmm. actually want to actually listen and buy this course and are they willing to pay for the price? And then you can do, you say like early birth kind of uh, price for this and say, if you're gonna, uh, register now you can get the course in a different price um, so that's one of the things you need to look at because a lot of time we say no but I've got so much information and I just want to share it and you preparing that online course but then when you're trying to sell it you're not able to something yeah. is not working so you don't want to waste your time and energy on something that maybe people are not in demand uh, demanding it and then if you do a webinar just to give it a try and see how people are reacting to this you can understand and then you can also check what was working, what's not, and make the changes that you need to. So that so will be my recommendation. 
Yeah. So then part of that, I would assume, is also then to kind of get a better insight or more insight into what people actually do want. So they don't want that, but maybe they want, I don't know, some whatever else they want. Maybe they want something else. To, to, would maybe that they want to take it to a different direction from where you are taking it. Maybe they're saying, I'm missing something out. Something is not working. Then you can make the changes. So don't just jump into preparing an online course before you have that information. And that's the nice thing with the webinar that it can actually help you to check it and understand, you know, what's working, what's not, um, and what do you need to change. And also you can change the pricing there because you can say like how much you're gonna charge for it. And that's why I'm not jumping into saying like sell it for Udemy or Teachable or all of these platforms. Because I, for example, I have three online courses, but because of the way I prepare the online courses, I find selling them through Udemy. Although they also appear on other different platforms, but I mainly sell them on Udemy. But the other course that I'm actually busy building now on the um, online social media, it's gonna be a bigger one. So I'm not gonna sell it through Udemy, I'm gonna sell it on a separate platforms because I wanna position it in a high rank versus like what I do with the courses I've got now. So if you sell a course that there is information there, but it's not, lots of information it's not full details um there's still more than you can go or maybe you can do like small courses small courses but then you link them all together you want to see how you want to position yourself mm. so the problem with using like platforms like udemy and teachable and all of this is that you know they're also doing promotions they also like lowering the price so you can yeah. actually find them courses like you can find my courses there in like a hundred grand most of the time that's like very like low to pay for it, right? Yeah. So think about like how much money you earning out of it. But yes, you can reach out to more people and sell it to more, but it's depend on the course. But I know that the course, for example, that I'm busy working now, it's gonna be so big that I prefer to give it its own platform, buy itself and sell it in a different pricing. So mm -hmm. when you look at the courses, that's where you need to examine it. And that's why I say always do a webinar. People are in front of their laptops today. People working from home. Everyone getting into quarantine in different countries as well now. So people are stuck with it online. And they want to join different webinars. So they're kind of going to listen. And then they, you can say, like, let's say I want to sell this uh, course, like, in 2000 rand. And people, you see that people are not registering. So you can go and check what. And they're going to say, like, listen, it's too much. But maybe you can charge this as a rent and you can see why people are signing up because they're understanding the value of it. Um, so, you know, that's what you need to understand, like what people actually looking for. It's not only what we've got to offer. It's also what they're looking for. What the people are requesting for today. And I, and I suppose as well, if you're not working with the South African market as much, and you're not working in rands. That's also very different, you know, if you're working with the European market and it's in euros or in dollars or something like that, that's that's very different to rand as well from a value. It is, but that's also part of like, and I think that's one of the issues a lot of people are experiencing, how to position myself, you know, yeah. to say like, I believe that I, my course worth that amount, my consultation worth that amount, you know, so even when you position yourself, you know, it's like, I can give a certain price for my service in one of the countries that I'm working with, but because of the situation, I can say like, this is my pricing on a regular days, but this is my pricing during the Corona because I'm trying to support. And then you play with this and you also look at the currency, but even let, let's say now you want to sell a course in a different country, right? Not in South Africa. So you also need to check what's the pricing range over there and then adjust yourself to that market. And because mm -hmm. of the currency, sometimes you can play with it and lower your price a bit because you're still earning more here. Yeah. But again, and that's part of it. So check out, like, what do you want to write a course about, right? Write, like, the, the guidelines for this. Make a mini version of a webinar, yeah? Nothing that would be interesting is if, if people who – listen to this whether they listen to it live or they listen to it you know later on or whatever if people maybe just put some you know if they're going to do an online course what kind of course would they be interested in i think it would just be interesting research not just for myself and not just for you but for whomever else is listening like if you were going to do a course an online course what would you be interested in doing the course on i think that would be a great 
yeah, great research. If people want to share, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Yes, and you know what? There are so many topics. And mm. some people say, I, but I can do a course on how to teach people to upload on certain stuff and things. But for that, they can also find it on YouTube. So are you going to bring something more to the table or not? And that's why I say, like, check it. The nice thing with the social media platforms today is that you can actually go and do a research. All right. And that's what you do in marketing in the big companies. They do research, but big companies outsource it and pay for something else. But a small yeah. business, you've got it all out there. So you can even just post it in one of the groups and ask in a poll, like, what are the different topics that you want to have a course on? Um, mm. And give some title for it and see what people are interested in. And Charlotte, you know, I took, well, when I've done my courses, because of my knowledge, I've, I know what I've done. But even after that, I've checked it out because I took my, for example, I've got an online course about how to build a brand in six steps. So I made it a, a, a webinar out of it and I've checked it out and that got me more clients. So I know that my course got it in it. So for me, because of the size of the course, because it's something very simple, straight to the point that can teach you how to build a brand. I've got also on a marketing plan, how to make it on how to find business opportunities. Because because I'm going there step by step, I can sell it through Udemy. And that's fine by me because I'm trying to reach out to more and more people. But as I say, now when I'm busy building and how to build an online presence, that's a much more bigger course. So the effort is yeah. bigger. So that's why I'm not going to sell it on these platforms because I don't want, like, it's not fair for me even that I'm going to sell it in 100 grand or let's say 200 grand because of the pricing of you doing all of them because I know how much time and effort I'm investing in it. So also yeah. bear in mind when like when you build in the course, how much time and effort are you investing in it? And that's why before you're jumping into the in, uh, investing in it, mm -hmm. make sure that you're doing things the right way. And that's a nice thing to do. Yeah, so I think just to, you know, to kind of round this up, I think if, if people are wanting to know more about marketing online courses, then they can have a chat to you about it. Yeah, I think it would be, because it's, it's definitely what people are doing. And it's just, yeah, it's just, it's interesting research to find out what people are interested in. But I think if they want to explain Udemy, for example. So mm -hmm. Udemy, for example, if you go to the website, um, they've got the research part of the things and the insights. So you can actually write a topic over there and they're going to tell you, um, I would have shared my screen, but like you, you can actually see there, like if they're saying if there is a big demand to this, what are the pricing, how much money in average people are earning on selling courses around that time. So you can get into Udemy and get some ideas about, you know, the courses. You can also go to Udemy, for example, and check what the online courses that people give for free. And you can check your topics and see how many courses there is and like how much people are charging for it and all of this. But bear in mind, by using those different platforms, because they also doing the promotion for you sometimes, um, they take a certain percentage out of it because you get your link and they get and, their link. Yeah, and also with some of these, there's your monthly fee and your monthly fees in dollars. So that also can work out quite pricey as well. So yeah, again, I think to sum it up, I think if people want to know more about marketing online courses, they can absolutely have a chat to you or a consultation with you and just, you know, you could help them yeah. with that. Yeah, and like really just come and feel free to ask questions because, you know, I've checked all the platforms. I'm in most of the platforms that there is and I'm still getting people coming, reaching out to me. I saw your courses. Can you sell it in my platform as well? But it's not just to spread yourself and start selling it everywhere, you know. You need to sell it the smart way because think about all the time and effort you invested in this. So make sure that you're also reaching out and selling it in the right platforms that are going to position you in a certain level. And if you got a website, you can use your website to sell the course, right? Um, mm -hmm. So look at this, if you got an e-commerce website, you can use it to sell your course. So you don't need to use other platforms for that as well. But then of course you will need to invest more in the marketing of selling that online course. But also like you're gonna earn more on that course if you're selling it. So it's not like the quantity, uh, it's the amount of money. So everyone's got different targets, different things. So look at the size of your course. Look at the information that there is there. If it's something that you think that you want to really position it high because you believe in it and that's what you see in the market, go for it. Do it on a different platform. But if it's something that, you know, 
it's a quick one it's like an hour two hours course that people can watch so do it like on udemy and teachable and other platforms as well um and there are many platforms to do it so just use it like this and if someone have like certain topics that you want to learn about marketing, branding, social yeah, media, share with us. Instagram, just reach out to us on a private message or like share in the comments and we'll make it as the next topic for next Tuesday. And if someone want to go live with us, that we're going to give him some tips on his business from a marketing personal development side. So also reach out to us because, you know, this is designed for us to help each other and help each other grow and build a community together. That's going to be supportive. Yeah. yeah. And we'll be back on Friday. Yes. With a personal development topic. So good luck with the online courses. <laughs> Bye. Bye.